Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly scopes. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. So Sagittarius, it seems like you could be experiencing a lot this week if you allow yourself to. Because the main opportunity you have is exactly experiencing card. So there's this sense of you uh, being almost rejuvenated by the experiences uh, uh, of uh, productivity, creativity uh, that can come together this week. There's an opportunity for you to grow by uh, experiencing things, by giving yourself a chance and opportunity to learn more, to do more, to see more, to touch more, to do more, more, more. Um, where um, where it has connection with just allowing yourself to new experiences, allowing yourself to the new. And as a main opportunity, there's a beautiful opportunity for you to get out a little bit of your comfort zone, which I think it's funny we call it that way because I also think it's the most uncomfortable zone you will ever be. So there's an opportunity opportunity for you to look to real comfort by uh, understanding which comfort it's really yours. And in order for us to know that, we have to experience, we have to go through different, different, different kinds of situations of, um, of selecting, to select the one that fit, fits us perfectly, that fits our innate essence, likes and desires, uh, without having to force uh, or without having to fake or without having to just do it by the sake of doing it but um, experiencing it in a beautiful way where you're not only learning you're also sharing yourself so there's a beautiful opportunity this week to have the energy to let yourself uh, be out there seeing things and experiencing things in a completely new way new perspectives new angles to look at situations. The challenge is for you to do that and the challenge is for you to be able to be totally you in whatever comes your way, which is the totality card and it talks exactly about that. It talks about um, you being able to be totally yourself in whatever you're doing, whatever this creative project, this situation that is going on that it's require, requiring maybe a lot of your passion, a lot of your energy, and a lot of your uh, creative talents. Um, it's it, The message here is for you to not forget who you are in the middle of that buzz. So in the middle of the confusion, in the middle of those experiences, in the middle of all that busyness, of that interaction probably with other people, a team, don't forget um, who you are. And don't forget that no matter how busy, how uh, casual you are, you still uh, have always, and there's no excuse to not be who you are and to have your complete attention and totality in whichever comes your way, in whichever experience you gather through your space of understanding and learning and just um, experiencing. So totality is remembering you to be total, to be whole, to be the whole yourself in whichever you're doing, which could be a lot, could be a lot of things going on, needing a lot of and requiring a lot of your attention and a lot of your ability to adapt and to uh, not get distracted or into dispersion where you don't know how to do or how to handle so many things. You can do it by experiencing, by letting yourself uh, understand that all of that is part of your own process, but don't forget who you are. Don't compromise, which is the advice card, compromise. So don't compromise. Be aware this week about the compromises you're doing uh, that may require some kind of self-sacrifice. So if there's any kind of deal, any kind of situation where you're, you're agreeing with something, you're deciding something, you're letting something happen uh, because it will allow you to compromise with the other part, it will allow you to conciliate 
to not create conflict, to not create tension. But in the middle of that process, you're losing your own voice and you're losing your own expression and you're losing your own self. Be aware of that. The advice for you is to not compromise, is to see things um, with your whole self, which was a challenge, with the totality of yourself, to show yourself totally to the other parts integrating the situation. So not only you have to you have to find this balance between opening up and not preserving who you are. So there's this balance uh, happening where you have to open up to new experiences. You have to go out there. You have to search. You have to look. You have to know which way is your way, but not by compromising, not by adapting to others' expectations and others' um, projections onto you. Be aware of the deals you're making and be aware of uh, being, letting yourself be consciously or unconsciously manipulated by others because you're not wanting to create problems or you're not wanting to speak up for yourself, which Usually for Sagittarius, that's not their way of handling things. But this week, by any kind of situation this applies to, that could be a theme surfacing where you'll be confronted to either stand up for yourself and uh, be totally yourself in the middle of all the attention uh, you're getting or to compromise and in that process probably lose some part of your true self uh, in order to get uh, whichever you're trying to get. So be aware of that. In the middle of that, don't forget to open up and experience life with its beauty because there's a lot of experiences and opportunity for growth and productive uh, creative force working with you. So. Thank you for watching, listening, liking, subscribing. It really means a lot to me. And hopefully we'll see each other next week.